Hey, hey, Sheriff, there's that happy kid. You know that kid who keeps on walking around all happy all the time I've been telling you about? Where? There where, he is. Where is he? You see him? Well, why don't you go ask him? Hey, kid, why are you so happy all the time? What kind of ganja are you smoking? Who, me? Yeah, yeah, you. Get over here. Life! Now tell me something. Is it an indigo or a sativa? Yeah, just life! I think he said indigo. Must be that Pineapple Express. <laughs> I think so too, Frank. Let's go! Yo, yo, yo! What is up? Welcome back to another week of How to Health. My name is Kevin. I run Lift and Balance. Com, where we take aim at all things health and do it in an odd, weird, interesting, and highly sarcastic manner. Today, I am here to convince you that you truly are capable of feeling awesome each and every day. Yes, every single day, you and the pretty cool meat suit that you embody have the ability to feel physically and mentally refreshed, rejuvenated, and otherwise great. And yeah, I get it. Obviously, some days will be inherently better than others. And this is not an attempt to try and abolish being sad, a little anxious, and a little depressed every once in a while. It's simply a strategy built off evidence-based health interventions that together can put you in the very best position to have a day. Every day. Quite frankly, because you deserve to feel great. Yeah, I said it. You deserve it. So go get it. And I'll throw in this first disclaimer here. I'm not saying at all this is the perfect, optimal morning routine. I guarantee it most certainly isn't. And I'll go a step further and say, I really don't think there is a perfect morning routine. Everybody's different, dealing with unique lifestyle factors, health conditions, and overall chronotypes. So I urge you to think of this as a guide to get you thinking on ways you can biologically hack your way to a little bit of a better day. All right, let's boogie. Oh yeah, obligatory disclaimer number two on sleep. Yes, it is true. The perfect stress-free Energizer Bunny day starts the night before. If you are not getting adequate sleep, no morning routine is gonna save you. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. And that's why you should prioritize consistent sleep. Always. It is the foundation of all things health. We talk about it a ton on this channel. We have a whole how to sleep playlist dedicated to sleep. So get it. And if you don't know why, watch every video on the playlist twice. And like it. And comment. And share. Okay. Good. The assumption from here on out is you are getting a good solid seven hours of sleep every single night. Now, we're ready. Waking up. For me, it's around 5 a.m. plus or minus 15 minutes every single day. Yes, even on the weekends. When you prioritize sleep with consistent bed and wake times, the need for an alarm clock magically dwindles. This is because you are realigning your innate circadian rhythms. I personally am a big believer in getting up and doing something for you to start each and every day. Before you get on your commute, before you log in and start working on other people's goals, do you. This little mindset and habit shift has the power to make a major impact. And you may be asking, what does doing something for you actually mean? And the answer is, like so many other things in this world, it depends and differs from person to person. The important thing here is that you spend that time you carved out every single morning on you. It could be as short as five minutes or span a few hours. For example, this is how I do me every single morning. Before I do anything, I hydrate. I keep a full glass of water bedside each and every night. Speaking of hydration, why? Because you lose quite a bit of water while you're getting your Z's. What do you think makes the scale shift so much overnight? It ain't fat loss. Drinking water is an essential signal to the rest of the body that it's time to get up and get going. 
I finish my first full glass before I even get out of the bed. And then after a brief bio break, I go and refill a few more glasses. Show your organs you love them. Drink up. And for me personally, and I hope for you, hydration is a continuous process as I am constantly refilling and rehydrating over the next two hours of my morning routine. This right here equates to the first 15 minutes of my day. Next, we move to a little wake up flow. Not that kind of flow. I'll show you that. Despite being highly controversial based off the feedback in my TikTok comments, I am a firm believer that 15 to 20 minutes of light movement in combination with water is as good or an even better bowel stimulator than coffee. The world must know. And if I get sacrificed because of it, so be it. So I find my yoga mat, I bring it outside if the weather permits, and I start to get my flow on. This right here does a few essential things to get our body turned up. First, it begins to nudge the nervous system, alerting it that it's time to send the signal to ramp up daytime activities to the rest of the body. It also stimulates the detoxification powers of the lymphatic system, our body's innate detoxification system. That unlike the circulatory system, which has a heart to pump it, this system has no pump. So it relies heavily on movement to get the juices going. And 10 to 20 minutes of a light stretching progression or a yoga flow is a perfect way to stimulate this system. Just give it a little tickle. And when combined with slow, controlled, intentional breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, it increases oxygen efficiency, dilates blood vessels, and puts your body in a nice and relaxed state to start this beautiful day to be alive. Sounds pretty good thus far, right? That was only two. Got two more left. Next, I like to turn it up a notch. From here, I grab a quick hydration bio break and get right into a highly focused, highly efficient workout that lasts precisely 40 minutes. Now that the body is already warmed up, it is time to turn on that internal furnace and get the sweat flowing. And although my workouts vary each and every day, it's typically some sort of circuit that includes a mix of mobility, stability, strength, power, and cardiovascular work all in one. If you're curious, there's, you know, just a few hundred workouts on my page. No biggie. Now, please note, and I'll admit it, these probably aren't the best workouts for everyone. So if you're interested in doing one, take a look at them, modify away and adjust to your fitness level. They get a little intense. They get a little crazy sometimes. So modify and adjust, please. Now you may ask, how does a 40 minute sweat sesh actually improve my day? Well, by turning on a number of metabolic and cellular pathways that do some pretty cool things, like giving your heart a workout, which is always good, activating heat stress proteins, which stimulate a post-sweat strong antioxidant response, thus suppressing inflammation throughout the day. It also creates micro tears in our muscles, prepping them and priming them for growth one of the key functions that happens when we sleep. Remember sleep? Yeah. And it also stimulates the release of the dopest dope that you never had to smoke. The release of natural opioids and endorphins in the brain that make us feel like we're a cast member in Pineapple Express. All of these combined deliver one of the best stress reducing prescriptions there is. Many times, and I know in my case, lasting throughout the entirety of the day and making it a lot easier to laugh off and let go of those little micro stresses that used to get under your skin. This right here is why a morning sweat is a must for me each and every day. And after a shower, often a nice cold one, I finished off with priming that five pound mushy membrane with some positivity to fend off all the crap that's gonna be thrown at it for the rest of the day. A reminder and a mindful. This right here was the last major addition to my have a day routine. And I can say confidently after doing it every single morning for the last two years, it makes a substantial 
difference. I spend the last 15 to 20 minutes of my morning routine on this mindfulness practice that I've crafted and continuously tweaked. It includes deep belly breathing and conscious observations of my thoughts for the first 10 minutes and ends with a short walkthrough of my core values that I wanna remind myself I have each and every day, as well as a good vibe delivery to some people I've had on my mind that day, hoping that they have a day right there alongside me. And this is actually one of my favorite things because it could be like someone I haven't seen in years and I'm just like, hey, this person sending you vibes today, sending you good positive vibes. Hope you have a day, hope all is well, hope you're smiling makes you feel good and you know, hopefully, hopefully it works, I don't know. <laughs> Why is this all important enough to spend 10 to 20 minutes on each and every day? Well, I have found that observing my thoughts for 10 minutes each and every morning has made me much more self-aware. Let me explain. Our minds are so powerful that a thought alone has the power to alter our entire biochemistry and physiological state on a moment notice, which is absolutely insane when you think about it, but also extremely, extremely common. Just think of the last time you've compared yourself to someone else on, say, social media. It's a very common practice these days. That comparative action, which we default to subconsciously, turn on a flurry of biochemical and physiological changes that make us sad and depressed from head to toe. And becoming aware of these thoughts as they enter your cranial cavity your brain, you open up access to an amazing superpower, subjective insertion, or the power to identify less than optimal or potentially harmful thoughts that will have zero positive impact on your life and kick them to the curb. And I found that having a mindfulness practice is one of the best ways to develop this skill. Yes, spending time with yourself Observing your thoughts is awkward, challenging, and even boring. And you're probably gonna be pretty dreadful when you start. I know I was. I still wouldn't consider myself that good. But as you stick with it, you will find that this is one of the most powerful skills that you can develop. A form of self-mind control that will mitigate and cancel out all that negativity in the world. All of those external happenings that we have zero control over, but for some reason let alter our mental and physical state every day. Well, not anymore. Not up in here. And no, you're never going to bat a thousand. But just like anything else, the more you practice, the better you'll be and the closer you'll get to having a day every day. And remember, it's not about being perfect. Perfection is unrealistic and you gotta be cool with that. It's about setting yourself up to be in the best possible position to be healthy, to be happy, and to have a day. Every single damn day. Cause like I said before, you deserve it. With that, as always, let me know what comments, questions, any random thoughts you have down below. You know what? After all that, I think I'm kind of in the mood for some Pineapple Express. The, the movie, the movie, chill out, chill out, the movie. Don't.